Today, we're bringing back Rant and Rave, but this year, it's with our very own Daybreak meteorologist, Samantha Smith, and Fox Sports 1670's Bill Shanks. Today, their talking points range from Georgia Tech's running game to the wild card race in the National League. Year two, we're back for Rant and Rave, and look who's on the segment this year. Yes, you see her in the morning doing the weather, and now she's doing Rant and Rave with me every Wednesday. Samantha Smith, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Let's start off with the Braves. They have a big lead in the wild card. Is the wild card pretty much over? The answer to the question is yes, it's done. The Braves are going to be in the playoffs. They may even catch the Phillies. They've got six games left, but right now it looks like they're comfortably in the lead in the wild card. Bill, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one. I'm going to say that wild card race is over. The Braves have got a good team. They've got a solid bullpen. I say go Braves. All right, let's hope they'll continue on. And a good debate going on right now in the Braves Nation is who is going to win the National League Rookie of the Year award? Will it be first baseman Freddie Freeman or the closer Craig Kimbrell? I was on Freeman's side for a while, but Craig Kimbrell hasn't given up a run since June 11th. Starting to give it to Kimbrell. Ooh, I got to disagree with you here, Bill. I'm going to go with Freddie Freeman, and here's why. He's got it on both sides of the ball, the offensive side and the defensive side. On the offense, he's solid. He's leading the NL rookies in batting average, slugging percentage, and in on-base percentage. On the defensive side, he's big, he's solid, he makes big plays, and he's mature for his age. My vote is for Freddie Freeman. Well, you can't blame anyone for going in that direction. Both of those guys are doing very well. It's going to be a good race for that award, and it's great to have two Braves that young doing that well early on in their careers. Absolutely. All right, now to football. The Falcons are 0-2. It's the preseason. Should we be worried about the Falcons? The answer to this is, of course, no. It's the preseason. They're working on things. They're seeing who goes where and what they're supposed to do. Julio Jones fitting in nicely, and so far, they're just working on stuff, so don't be worried about this 0-2 start. Nope, not at all. It's that age-old debate. Preseason, can you trust it, can you not? I'm going to go with no. Remember those 08 Detroit Lions? They were undefeated in the preseason, and they didn't win a single regular season game. That's right. We'll see how the Falcons do this weekend against Pittsburgh. Maybe a little bit more important this weekend. Finally, our final topic, Georgia Tech. We haven't really seen a running back emerge in that competition for their main running back. Is that a worry for them? I think the answer is no. They don't really care. They think that it's the system that can make things happen. And Coach Paul Johnson might think that if he put me back there, I could be the running back. I don't know about that, but I will agree with you that there is no cause for concern in Atlanta. You know, they led the nation in rushing last year with Anthony Allen. He's gone to Baltimore now, but they've got four solid guys. I think they can pull it out in time. Uh, they'll find one before the end of the month of August as they get ready for the season. We'll be here every Wednesday for four topics with Rhett and Rave, and we'll see you Friday for the end zone.